I'd like to share with you on this week's Parsha Shlach, something very nice from the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzhak Zatzal. In this week's Parsha, we have the whole story about the spies, Maraglim, who went to Israel, and they came back with a terrible report. All Mepharshim ask, how could it be? They just witnessed how Hashem gave the Torah and Sinai, all the miracles. How did it come that the Miraglim should go against Hashem? But maybe Yitzhak explains a very interesting Gemara that has to that is called for an explanation. The Gemara says in Baba Basra that if I gimel on the base on the bottom, Rabba Bar Rabchana was once going in the desert in the Midbar Sinai Desert with a Muslim, an Arab. This Arab tells him, "You want come? I'll show you the place." where the Macy Midbar, those Miraglim and the that generation who died in the desert, I'll show you where they're buried. Um, Rab, Rabbi Baruch Hanna went, and then the Gemara says something very interesting. The Gemara says, he saw their appearance as if they were intoxicated. They were like shikar. What does that mean? That they were like intoxicated. One more Gemara. All this will come together. The Gemara says in Soita, the Flamadala Domit base, that the Maraglim, if you look into their names, it tells you everything about them. And the Gemara says, analyzes one of them. The messenger, the Maragil. The representative of the tribe of Osher was Sisur ben Michael. The Gemara analyzes the word Sisur means he refuted, he contradicted the words of Hashem. What does that mean? Explains Rabbi Lev Yitzhak what it says in Kabbalah and Exodus. When a person is intoxicated, that means that just like physically when a person drinks too much liquor, too much wine, his emotions take him over and he loses his sense of understanding. His mind, his judgment, his seichel blacks out and his emotions take over. That means he becomes intoxicated. Similarly, this was a marshal of the Doyed Hamid, but that generation, especially the Miraglim. Of course, they saw all the miracles on Matan Torah and going out of Mitzrayim. But look, here they were in the Midbar. They got the Torah. They had such a yearn, such a passion, a fiery desire to become close to Hashem. This passion in their heart took them over. And they said, oh, we love this. We're basking in the glory of Hashem. It's like paradise, Gan Eden. Let's stay in the Midbar. Why do we have to go and touch this world? Over there we'll have to get involved in earthly matters. Physical things, mundane things, corporal things. This will tear us away from our connection to Hashem. This is what they thought. So they said, let's stay here. They had this passion, this emotional, fiery desire to come close to Hashem. And they wanted to cleave. They had this intoxication in them. They didn't understand what Hashem wanted. They lost their mind. Moshe Mena told them, this is not the purpose. The purpose is... That you have to go into Israel and elevate the world, make the world a dearer betachtoinim, a dwelling place of Hashem. Hashem appreciates your desire. But they were so ecstatic that they couldn't control their passion. And this is what it means that they were intoxicated. Look how beautiful Rabbi Levit says a very interesting remez, a hint. The words in the Gemara is, Keman de Ifsimi. That's the, no, the, the, Aramaic word, they were like intoxicated. The root of that word is boisem, beis samachmem, intoxication. Says Rabbi Levitz, so beautiful, a very interesting remez. If you take the first three letters of this Meragil, the representative of Osher, like the Gemara says, it's hinted in his name what he's all about. His name is Sisur ben Michael. You have Samach, the first letter of Sisur, 
Ben base for Ben Ben Michael Mem. Put the letters together. You have also the word voice Sam. Base Samach Mem is a Russia Tavis Sisur Ben Michael. To tell you, you know why he he contradicted the words of Hashem. He was intoxicated. He has what's called the Hasidic language, a rotsui. He was ecstatic. He had a desire, a passion for Hashem. But he had to remember that there's also a shuv. You have to come back and you have to be practical on the shomer b'guf, a soul in a body, and also in the world, elevating the world, bonding heaven and earth. But it's not that Hashem gave us the Torah that we should be separated from the world and just be in a desert and serve Hashem that way. That is contradicting Sisur, the words of Hashem. So this is the meaning, Rabbi Rabbi Yitzhak explains, command the Ipsimi, their appearance was that they were in an intoxicated situation, which means that their emotions took them over, their passion, their desire, even in a holy sense, but that's not the ultimate goal of Hashem. And this is how so beautiful that the Rosh Tevis of the Sesubim and Choel Voisem is exactly what the Gemara says, command the ifsami. They were like intoxicated. And this is the lesson that a person has to understand from the Miraglim. It's good to have a passion to Hashem, but together with that, we always have to bring it down, mata mata, elevating the physical, corporal world to make Hashem a dira betachtenim, a dwelling place in this world.